Hello, today is September 26, 2020, and the time is 11.41 a.m. I'm going to be talking today about stuff that is really remote to what I normally talk about. But it's more on the light side of life, I guess. And, yeah, uh, just, just something random here. I really didn't plan on doing a, a video about this. I really didn't put much thought into this video, but um, yeah, so before I begin, I'm going to talk about two quick things. And the first thing is the what I'm thinking about talking about. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of woke people to the subject and talking about, because I'm going to be talking about some fast food and stuff like that. There's going to be a lot of woke people who are going to be like, oh, you know, this and that and Illuminati and all that. You know, I really don't care. I'm just I'm making a, a lighthearted video and just sharing some thoughts. So, you know, and if you're a vegan, I'm going to be talking about meat. So, you know, just a heads up, trigger warning, you know, better turn off the video. I really don't care. Now, the other thing I want to talk to you just briefly is something a little bit serious is I know over the past seven years and stuff, I've done tons of videos. Most most of my videos, even on current events, I've taken down, at least for now anyway. And one of the things that I've talked about, especially with these so-called online men's groups, is telling people, you know, it's very important, regardless of how bad your situation is and, you know, everything else. There's some very key things to... To, to remember and one is to not withdraw now of course there's going to be exceptions momentary uh, exceptions to you know withdrawing um, for a very brief period of time but it's important not to withdraw and I always encourage everyone to uh, if they're going through a period and they find themselves getting caught in that loop that rut of, you know, uh, self-isolation, using a uh, term regarding this uh, mask hoax. When you're finding yourself in that situation, you know, go out. And the harder it is to go out means the more important it is for you just to go out. When I say go out, I mean, you don't have to go to an expensive restaurant. You don't even have to go to a restaurant. You can just go out. Um, sit in a parking lot if you have a vehicle you don't any you, you don't have money you just you don't have much gas just go sit in the parking lot I tend to like to sit in my vehicle in, in parking lots uh, usually by um, a coffee shop like Tim Hortons for Canadians and I just like to sit there and you know I'll be you know maybe doing stuff on my phone talking and just people watch and you, you see sometimes some very strange things going on and the, the benefit to that is when I least expect it, I've met some very interesting people just in passing, just by sitting where I'm sitting right now and somebody's beside me. Uh, I remember several weeks ago, there was a gentleman coming out of his vehicle. I've seen him there a bunch of times and I just made a, I was just going to make a very short, you know, comment to him, like hello type of thing. And we ended up talking for like 40 minutes and uh, it was actually kind of cool and listening to his life story and everything else. So, I mean... The whole point is, no matter what you're going through, don't get trapped in your own mind, in your own surroundings, and lock the doors and close the blinds because that's the very worst thing that you can do for yourself. So, yeah, that was the serious part of this video. Now, what I wanted to talk about, what was in on my mind to talk about is... Um, Let's talk about food and products real quick here. So we'll begin with burgers, cheeseburgers, bacon double cheeseburgers. So can't go wrong with cheeseburgers. I love cheeseburgers. Yeah. Um, now here's a little something that has a twist in the end. Uh, as a kid, I remember... Uh, Any time that I was sick or so, or something, I was got uh, McDonald's. And again, people are gonna say, "Ah, oh, McDonald's." Ah, I don't care. This is a little happy story of mine. So if you wanna poo-poo it, uh, get lost. So 
McDonald's became my happy food, I guess. And when I got older, an adult, uh, Burger King, uh, if I had the choice, um, even today, if there's a McDonald's and a Burger King across the road, I will go to Burger King. And Burger King has also better value uh, and coupons. They have some really cool coupons, so keep that in mind. So yeah, Burger King. Now, what's interesting is my happy food is still a specific burger from a little burger combo from McDonald's. So even though if I'm you know just hungry or whatever, I'll choose Burger King. I'm not saying I won't go to McDonald's any other time, but guaranteed my happy food, I always default to that specific combo uh, from McDonald's. But yeah, you can't go wrong with burgers, like a homemade burgers. Well, that's a topic unto itself. Like homemade burgers, hands down, you is the best. And I'd like to say that I make a really good homemade hamburger. But anyway, I digress. But yeah, homemade hamburgers are yeah, barbecued or open, open fire. Oh, yeah. And there's other uh, burger places like Harvey's here in Canada. They have good burgers. And, uh, you know, Dairy Queen, I'm still, I don't know, maybe it's just me from childhood. But Dairy Queen has always been... If you want ice cream, it's Dairy Queen. I don't really think about going to Dairy Queen for burgers or anything, although they're decent. And then we have here uh, here in Canada anyway, uh, A&W, they have good burgers. But I think with, for Burger King, it's the uh, the value. You, you the, the prices are, you know, you get a lot for what you pay for. And again, the coupons, if you're you get the coupons. The coupons are great. So burgers and homemade burgers. But if you think just about even like homemade burgers or burgers in general, all it is is meatloaf between bread. And a lot of people, even a homemade burger, they'll poo-poo it saying, you know, ah, that's garbage food. No, it's, it's you eat meatloaf, you get mashed potatoes. Now, when it comes to whether it be even fast food or even burgers at home, deep fried french fries, well, yeah, I mean... It's okay to have them once in a while, but that's where you start to get into, yeah, it's how much of this deep fried stuff is really good for you, right? So the deep fried French fries part, yeah. And I guess this kind of segues briefly into Kentucky Fried Chicken or KFC. Uh, do I eat KFC? They have a really good um, value meal. Uh, what's it called? Um, five buck. Five dollar fill up or five buck fill up, and uh, they have different kinds, and you can get the double tender sandwich one uh, for five bucks. You get, you know, a decent sized sandwich for the money. You get a a bag of fries, a drink, and most importantly, cookie. You get a chocolate chip cookie, and actually the cookie comes individually packed, of course. It's pretty decent. So, yeah, you know, for five bucks. Uh, so, where was I got distracted here? Uh, I was talking about uh, the cookie being really good. So, yeah, I mean, chicken wise, sure, why not? Uh, the, chick the sandwiches, I mean, I, I just, it is greasy. I will say it's greasy. Now, talking about chicken, real brief, uh, a buddy of mine's wife makes this really cool chicken meal like you know this chicken thing and she tops it with um different like green and red peppers and some feta cheese or something i don't know it's, it, it, i just know i can eat that all day long it's really good and again we're talking about home cooked uh food uh, as opposed to fast food fried chicken but yeah there is something to anything deep fried seems to have some sort of unique uh, addictive flavor to it but anyway i digress so, you know, we're talking about burgers and meatloaf. Uh, it actually kind of reminds me of uh, stuffed green peppers. Yes, stuffed green peppers. But not just any stuffed green peppers. I've had so different stuffed green. Like, you know, can you buy them in, in, the, in the store? And they're like, yeah, okay, it's stuffed green pepper. That's it. The best stuffed green peppers, I will have to say, has always gone to my mother. She made 
the best stuffed green peppers in the whole wide world. And I remember as a kid, she'd make a big pot of it and she'd like mix rice in it. And when I think one of the ingredients that I really enjoyed in it was um, uh, tomato paste. She put tomato paste in the meat and I think she mixed a little bit of pork in there. I can't remember. I, I, all I know is it's by hands down. And I remember uh, one time uh, the woman that I married, uh, we, we were overseas. She knew that was like a really, you know, one of my favorite foods. So she made it and it was good. It was, it was good because it was still had that European, um, European style, right? And I made, I remember I made, I was trying to make a joke and, uh, you know, still being newly married and learning the do's and don'ts of what to joke about, what not to joke about. I remember, and there was other people sitting at the table. And I just said, yeah, this is almost as good as my mother's stuffed green peppers. Yeah, we, uh, we, I learned a lesson, <laughs> but, uh, it was kind of, it was, I was trying to make a joke, right? Like, how do you, I, you know, whatever. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that. But yeah, when you look at burgers. Now, the other great food you can't go wrong with is pizza. Now, I know some people are going to disagree with this next comment of mine when I say uh, a bad pizza is good pizza, like even, right, type of thing. <clears throat> and then we get into the argument of pineapple on pizza. Yeah, there's a big division in society about that. Maybe, who knows, maybe World War III will begin over pineapple on pizza. I happen to enjoy pineapple on pizza. Not all the time, but I will enjoy pineapple on pizza. And anyone who disagrees with that, well, there's something wrong with you and you need to seek treatment right away. But yeah, pizza, you can't go wrong with. And they have breakfast pizzas, which are pretty actually pretty cool. Don't poo-poo the idea until you actually try a good breakfast pizza. Uh, but yeah, pizza is another one you can't go wrong with. It's, it's actually, I remember when I was a fitness instructor way back, um, one of the things that I would tell people, which is, a, which is a fact that pizza is actually the most healthy fast food around. Cause you have meats, vegetables, and you have your carbs with your bread and everything else. And uh, yeah, so but pizza, you can't go wrong with. So for me, like, uh, what, which would I pick between say a, a bacon double cheeseburger from anywhere or homemade or pizza, that's a tough. I remember uh, a, a buddy of mine, he is a Red Seal chef and he had his own restaurant. Great food, great food. And one time uh, I popped in to visit and he made me this ridiculous double bacon cheeseburger it was probably it probably stood eight inches tall, and uh, another friend of ours had brought it out to me because he was he was working. I just kind of came in. I'm think I'm looking across, thinking what what are they what's being brought to me? It was huge. Like I'm not exaggerating. I took pictures of it, so if I can find those pictures, I'll insert it. If not, well, maybe another time. And uh, that was just yeah. I ate the whole thing in spite, and I had to use a fork and a steak knife. The thing was just a monster. I loved it. It was, it was a really good burger. You'll never get a burger like that from anywhere else. But he also won awards for his pizza, and his pizzas were fantastic. Like, even when I talk to him today about it, you know, I always joke about uh, ordering his pizza. Was oh, yeah. He he really needs to open up a. Like a pizza, just a pizza place, just pizza, and he do awesome. But, you know, I, I think, well, which would I choose, say, with out of his, the pizza or the burger? And I'd be like, I, I, I couldn't choose. If I had to choose, I couldn't choose. Like, I, they're both awesome. I guess it would also, it would depend on, I guess, maybe on my mood. But I'd be just like, I don't know, just give me one. I'll close my eyes and, you know. So anyway, pizzas and cheeseburgers and you can't have a cheeseburger without cheese it's not a cheeseburger then it's just a burger right and toppings is another topic for maybe i'll save it for another video but anyway i just want to share you know some something lighthearted today about food 
you know, I I mentioned products. Um, I was thinking about, I don't know why I was thinking about this as I was coming to this spot here, but just like shampoo and soap and stuff. And I'm, then I'm thinking, you know, like, yeah, I, I've used the same shampoo and the same brand of soap pretty much all my life. Uh, less now because of my situation where I just have to buy whatever I can afford to buy. But uh, I will say this, Irish Spring Soap. I remember that uh, as a kid when it came out and it was the green one. And then they, when I was uh, on my own, when I moved out when I was 17, uh, at some point as an adult, I remember I came up with, uh, they came up with um, Icy Blast, the blue one. And that's, yeah, I just like that soap. I, I don't know, you, you can, there's other soaps, probably the other soaps are just as good, you know. Uh, I'm not poo-pooing any soap, I'm just saying. I just like Irish Spring. The smell of it, when the green soap smell always reminds me of a kid. Um, and I remember as a kid being told, you take a shower or bath. Uh, I think it was when I was transitioning, you know, to taking showers as a kid. You wash away all the dirt and problems from yesterday or whatever and start fresh. And I can almost remember that. So, yeah. So, Irish Spring. If you don't like Irish Spring, I don't care. I, I like Irish Spring. And shampoo. Um, there's one Perk Plus or something. Uh, I, f I remember using that as a kid and I realized, yeah, I pretty much use that, that, that same shampoo all my life. Sometimes the, the generic no-name brand, but the same thing. And again, you know, over the years now, I, I buy what I could afford, but you know, um, yeah, that's shampoo. Uh, although I don't need much shampoo because I don't know if you can tell, I'm pretty much uh, keep my head bald, just super short with the clippers. Um, so yeah, shampoo. Now toothpaste, I will say this. Now I told all the woke people to basically get lost if they're going to start poo-pooing fast food and meat and everything else. But I will say when it comes to toothpaste, um, fluoride free toothpaste, I used forever. Uh, it's just really expensive and I haven't been able to afford it. I've been, you know, buying this, uh, you know, a brand name I'm not going to get into because it has fluoride in it, but you know, you know, compare the price, you know, fluoride free toothpaste can be anywhere from three to four times more expensive. So, you know, I'm kind of stuck with that. But I will say to the woke people, yes, if you're woke to fluoride and, and toothpaste, yes, fluoride free toothpaste. And I forget the one brand that was, uh, I used to buy, uh, it was a white tube, very simple kind of print. It was really good toothpaste tasted okay too so anyway uh except they had a flavor i bought once a licorice flavor and i hate licorice black licorice no 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 we don't do that if you like black licorice then i don't know what to say i feel sorry for you right but so anyway i'm just rambling on this nonsensical kind of a more upbeat stuff about cheeseburgers pizza shampoo soap and toothpaste uh, don't forget your q-tips and your dental floss also a must for your personal hygiene and uh, yeah I know a lot of people who are woke or talk you know talk about branding and you know, everyone's caught in this branding you well you know something I personally am not really worried about that I am aware of it I don't really care because I'm not gonna live my life being consumed by every single woke thing out there so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video, just me rambling about uh, stuff. And if you have any comments about your favorite food or anything about food, pizza, burgers, um, yeah, share in the comments below. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share.